We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system. Now, astronomers have captured that moment live, streaming in real time around the globe of them watching all of this. Take a look at this. Oh, hey. oh nice. Yes, look at that bad boy. This is a raw image, so this is not even like I mean, this is just directly from the telescope right now. You're looking at a piece of what would have become a planet in another star system. This is a building block from somebody else's home. There's still so much we don't know. And with the sun's glare taking over our window to see this interstellar visitor from Earth is closing fast. Meanwhile, Mars is about to get a front row seat coming up on the cosmic calendar October 3rd. That is when 3i Atlas swings by the big red planet and NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. That could give us our best look yet. Using the Gemini Multi-Object Spectrograph, astronomers recorded 3i Atlas in ultraviolet, blue, red, and near-infrared light. The result was unmistakable, a delicate anti-solar tail stretching more than 50,000 kilometers into space. The coma was compact, now spanned nearly 19,000 kilometers. In just weeks, Atlas had gone from a faint speck to a fully realized comet with a streaming tail, the classic signature of a body under solar pressure. Images from Gemini South now show a clear growing tail, dust and ice being pushed anti-solar by radiation pressure as the nucleus gets more sunlight. Alongside the expanding coma, these are textbook cometary features undercutting the probe speculation that bubbled up after discovery. But why is the tail so much more obvious now? Two reasons. First, physics. As insulation ramps up, volatile ices sublimate faster, dragging dust off the surface to form a brighter, broader coma and tail. Second, geometry. Earlier in July, the anti-solar tail was mostly pointed away from us and foreshortened by line of sight. As viewing geometry shifts, more of the tail is projected into view. So for anyone hoping Atlas might turn out to be something more than a comet, well, bad news for that theory. Seeing both a tail and an enlarging coma is exactly what we expect from a natural icy body heating up. The good news for science is that now the tail is out, we can study the comet in far richer detail. But there's also a timing wrinkle. The tail will likely keep growing as Atlas approaches perihelion on October 29th, but Earth will be on the wrong side of the sun. So we may miss the peak visually due to glare. The best post-perihelion opportunity should return in December, when the comet is approximately 170 million miles from Earth, and the geometry improves again. Bottom line, the tail's appearance doesn't just make for pretty pictures. It locks in Atlas's cometary nature and unlocks a deeper investigation of its alien chemistry. With the dust tail now visible, the extended carbon dioxide coma mapped, and the James Webb and ground telescopes in concert, we're perfectly placed to study how an interstellar comet switches on, what it's made of, and how its activity ramps up as it races through the inner solar system. And now fresh images of Comet 3i Atlas captured during last week's total lunar eclipse suggest that the interstellar object may be developing a striking green tint as it continues its passage through the solar system. Astronomers think the shift could be tied to the comet's growing closeness to the sun. On September 7th, astrophotographers Michael Yeager and Gerald Raymond took advantage of the blood moon eclipse when Earth's shadow blotted out the full moon to snap detailed photographs of the comet. Their shots revealed a surprising emerald glow surrounding the icy traveler. The glow may be the result of volatile materials buried deep in the comet's nucleus, now being released as sunlight intensifies. Still, the findings remain tentative since no other observers have yet confirmed a similar color change. But this isn't the first time comets have surprised astronomers with a green halo. Just last year, the dramatic Devil Comet, 12P Pons Brooks, glowed green on its approach to the sun. More recently, astronomers spotted a newcomer, Swan 25F, that also carried the same hue. The culprit in many of these cases is dicarbon, two carbon atoms bonded together that glows green when sunlight strikes it. 
This chemical often appears in the coma, the cloud of gas and dust that surrounds a comet's core. Interestingly, spectroscopic studies of 3i Atlas so far haven't revealed dicarbon. Scientists suggest it might have been trapped under surface ice and is only now being released. Or that some other combination of gases and dust is producing a lookalike glow through unfamiliar chemistry. Meanwhile, NASA's Sphere X mission mapped an enormous cloud of carbon dioxide around the comet, stretching nearly 350,000 kilometers into space. On August 6, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its infrared spectrograph toward Atlas. What it found was startling. Carbon dioxide dominated, with a CO2 to water ratio of about 8 to 1, among the highest ever measured. Webb also picked out carbon monoxide, OCS, and dust, but water, the lifeblood of comets, was a mere trace. Then Hubble refined its measurements. The telescope cannot directly see the nucleus, hidden as it is by the coma, but it can constrain its brightness. From that, astronomers set limits. The nucleus is tiny, no larger than 2.8 kilometers in radius, and possibly as small as 160 meters. That means its diameter lies somewhere between 0.32 and 5.6 kilometers. For comparison, that's smaller than most solar system comets. Yet Atlas is outgassing like a giant. It's as if a snowball the size of a town were venting gas at the rate of a mountain-sized comet. The European Southern Observatory's very large telescope added more intrigue. Spectra showed nickel gas in the coma, but curiously, no iron. In most comets we've studied, nickel and iron show up side by side, twin elements born together in the furnace of supernova explosions. Their separation here is odd, and perhaps points to chemistry shaped in an alien nursery, one very different from our suns. Is this anomaly a clue for a possible technological origin of 3i Atlas? Maybe not, but taken together, these observations paint a portrait of a comet unlike any we've seen. Small, but unnaturally active. Poor in water, but rich in carbon dioxide. Carrying an unusual chemical fingerprint and arriving on an orbit aligned suspiciously close to the plane of our planets. Yes, 3i Atlas slices into the inner solar system on a steep retrograde path. Astronomers have pinned several key milestones to their calendars, landmarks to watch as this visitor races through our cosmic neighborhood. October 3rd, 2025, Mars flyby. Just after sunrise over Valles Marinius, the comet will plunge past the red planet, a mere 18 million miles away. From orbit, Maven and Tian Win 1 will see its dusty coma start to glow faintly pink in the Martian dawn. October 29th, Perihelion. Four weeks later, 3i Atlas will sling behind the sun, skimming to 1.36 astronomical units, which is about 130 million miles from the photosphere. Here, its speed peaks near 152,000 miles per hour. At this point, the comet is lost to Earth-based telescopes, hidden by solar glare. But spacecraft on Mars and at L1 will keep a watch as jets of vapor erupt from the freshly warmed crust. December 19, 2025. Earth distance check. With its tail now fully unfurled, 3i Atlas will pass Earth at a comfortable 170 million miles, too far for a naked eye view, but close enough for the James Webb Telescope and Rubin Observatory to rake its coma for isotopic clues. March 16, 2026, Jupiter Pass. Finally, the visitor will fly past Jupiter, 33 million miles above the gas giant's clouds. If NASA approves a late course tweak, the Juno spacecraft could swing out to sample the comet's dust stream, providing our sole, up-close look at material that formed beyond our sun. After perihelion, 3i Atlas will swing back into interstellar space, never to return, leaving behind terabytes of observations and a trail of unanswered questions. Meanwhile, some astronomers suspect the object could be older than the solar system itself a relic from the thick disk of the Milky Way, 
wandering billions of years before finding its way here. Now, Three-Eye Atlas is on approach to perihelion. On October 29th through the 30th, 2025, it'll pass about 1.36 astronomical units from the Sun to Earth perfectly safe, but close enough for us to keep it under constant watch. As it swings around the Sun, its activity will intensify, its gases pouring out faster, its tail lengthening under the pressure of the solar wind. For astronomers, this is a rare chance. Under stress, a comet reveals itself, and as Atlas flares under the Sun's heat, it may finally confess its secrets. What's it made of? Where it came from? and perhaps even why it has survived so long on its lonely journey. In less than a decade, three interstellar visitors crossed our skies, each one different, each one a clue to the diversity of worlds beyond our sun. And thanks to our telescopes, we're seeing this latest traveler not as a fleeting blip on a graph, but as a living comet, a relic of an alien world passing once through our skies before vanishing forever into the dark. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, consider becoming a member to support our work. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.